Hey guys! So today our book is about Jenny Jellyfish and it is the tale of Wiggly Jellies. Jenny Jellyfish was a moon jelly floating free in the sea like a tiny moon. She was a beauty. You could see pink and pretty colors on her clear bell-like body. So you see our jellyfish? Let's see how many legs she has, or tentacles. We've got one, two, three, and four. I don't know if you can see, but her tentacles are pink. Jenny's friends were floating in the water around her. Each one was a moon jelly, an animal with no heart, brains, or bones. Jenny Jellyfish had so many friends, she couldn't even name them all. Johnny, Jerry, Jackie, and Jiggly Jelly were just a few of Jenny's friends. The moon jellies drifted together and were often pulled by the water, but each jellyfish could also move itself by squeezing its body back and forth. You see, Jenny and all of her friends, let's count her friends. We have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's got nine friends. Jenny and her friends were almost all water themselves. Wiggly and jiggly animals. Jiggly Jelly was Jenny's best friend and the wiggliest one of all. He would wiggle and jiggle just to show off. Most of the jellies would laugh at Jiggly as they drifted and moved in the sea, but Jenny Jellyfish worried about him. Why can't you be still, she asked. Jiggly didn't listen and kept on wiggling. You see, Jiggly Jelly is just wiggling around. And see, he's over here, he's the only one moving. One day, Krabby was swimming in the sea. He saw Jiggly wiggling away. I'll swim up under that jellyfish, he thought to himself. It will be a good place to hide. But a big sea turtle had spied a meal in that wiggly, jiggly jellyfish. Krabby saw the big creature just in time and scooted away. As you can see, we have our crab going to hide under our wiggly jellyfish. And then here comes our sea turtle, and he saw the crab. The turtle turned and tried to catch Krabby instead of Jiggly. But Krabby quickly hid in an old bucket lying on the bottom of the sea. He was surprised to find Nabby there. What's going on, she asked. A big turtle would rather eat me than a jellyfish, he replied. We see our turtles going after our little crab over here, but he's hiding in this old bucket. Meanwhile, Jenny scolded Jiggly as they floated in the sea. If you weren't so wiggly, the turtles wouldn't notice you, she told him. Jiggly didn't want to listen, but he watched as Jenny fired tiny stingers from her tentacles. She soon grabbed a little fish that was stunned by the poison in her stings. Jiggly thought, that's too much trouble. I'll just grab tiny eggs and animals from, un from the water that flows over me. Right away, he began to slurp up plankton with his thick mouth tentacles. So see, Jenny, she's got a little fish in her tentacles. And look, these other fish are swimming away. These are yellow fish. Let's see how many there are. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five yellow fish swimming away. As Jenny and Jiggly and their friends drifted and ate, more and more jellies joined them. There must be hundreds of jellyfish here now, Jenny said. We look like a floating raft of jelly. Soon, female jellyfish like Jenny began dropping eggs. Jiggly and the other males released a liquid that fertilized the eggs. Baby moon jellies began to hatch and hang on to the adults' tentacles. The jelly babies were as tiny as a pencil dot. 
So we see all of these jellyfish over here. And look how tiny the little babies are. See all these little black dots? The tiny jellies soon dropped down to the bottom and grabbed hold of oysters and rocks. There they grew and became tube-like animals called polyps. The polyps then formed many buds that popped off and became new jellyfish. Later, Jiggly was looking for Jenny, but he couldn't find her anywhere. There were so many jellies in the water. So you see these little guys? These are the polyps that then turn into or release the jellyfish. And we've got so many jellyfish. And there's Jiggly. His legs are wiggling. A rainbow spot on some clouds was beginning to show in the sky. Jiggly saw the sun dog and worried. That's a sign of bad weather, he thought. The wind will likely blow and blow. The wind did begin to howl, and strong waves bounced the raft of moon jellies. Those, were, those watery animals were helpless. So can we see the, right here, the little rainbow in the sky? And then the wind began to blow, and see all the jellyfish in the waves? The big waves washed them closer and closer to the sandy beach. Suddenly, the moon jellies were piled up on it, a bunch of watery blobs. Oh my, oh my! It was Jenny, not hurt, but scared. See, we have all of our jellyfish washed up on the beach from all the wind. And we have one, two, three red starfish. Jiggly, was ne who was nearby, couldn't even wiggle, for the wind was dry and the sun was hot. We need water, Jenny cried. Maybe helpful humans will find us, Jiggly said, hopefully. Soon a family of humans came along, looking for shells after the storm. They were surprised to see so many jellyfish piled up on the beach. We see our jellyfish down here looking nervous. And here are our helpful humans. Let's see what they do. Let's be helpful humans, the woman said. We can try to keep the jellyfish wet until the tide brings high water to the beach. Here's my first bucket full, said the little girl. I'll help too, her brother said. These are moon jellies. They won't sting us like other jellyfish. More helpful humans came along and splashed water on the moon jellies too. At last, the tide came up and lifted up all the jellies from the beach. So we have our, our two helpful humans are keeping our jellies nice and wet. And more people came to help, and now they're being taken back to the ocean by the waves. Jiggly couldn't help wiggling for joy. This time, Jenny didn't scold him. I feel wiggly too, Jenny said happily. Thanks to helpful humans, we can float free in the sea once more. So here we have Jenny and Jiggly wiggling in excitement because they're finally free from the beach. Bye guys.